Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically show you how to check the display status of hidden elements on a web page. When you check the display status of hidden elements on the web page, they should not be displayed, okay? They should not be displayed, right? Hidden elements should not be displayed. And if you check the display status, you should return false, okay? The display status for the hidden element should be false. How to check that? By using the same command that I have demonstrated in the previous session, that is is displayed command. Okay. With the help of this is displayed command, we can check the display status of the hidden elements. Okay. Since the hidden elements won't be displayed on the page, it should result in false. This is displayed command for the hidden element should be resulting in false Boolean value. Let me practically demonstrate an example for you so that you can understand it more. So I'll go to this uh, PyCharm ID where we have this uh, Python code already written. Okay, I'll clear all this stuff. Here it will open the Firefox browser, maximize the browser window and open this omaya.blogspot.com URL, okay? So it will open this omaya.blogspot.com URL. And on this web page, guys, there is one web element, okay? Which is kind of hidden on the web page, okay? You see, there is a section known as hidden button. You cannot see this button here. You see, the button is not visible here because that is hidden at this moment. Inspect this a label at least. Under this label, there is a button, guys, which is not visible on the web page. Hidden button. Under that, there is a hidden button. You see, there's a hidden button here. The HTML code of this hidden button is there here, which is not visible here. When I hover here, you see some kind of, you know, uh, tag is coming. Some kind of violation is coming. That's okay. So the reason why this button, why this particular button is in hidden state is because of this attribute. Guys. If I temporarily remove this hidden, Attribute from here, I press enter, you will get this button displayed on the page. You see, you'll get this button displayed on the page if I remove that hidden attribute. So if I refresh the page, it will go to the normal where you, again, the hidden attribute will, because this is a temporary change, right? I'm just checking how this will behave, that's it, okay? You see now hidden button, hidden attribute got automatically added, guys. Once I reload the page, hidden again came and the button is now not visible or not displayed on the page. How to confirm that this particular hidden button is not displayed on the page with the help of same command that is is underscore displayed command of Selenium Python, guys. Let me practically demonstrate that for you. So here, this is HTML code of this hidden button and it has an ID, guys. I'll copy this ID and here I, I'll write down the code like this. Driver dot find element by dot ID. Give the ID of that, uh, you know, hidden element, hidden button and say dot is dot is displayed. This will result in false case, okay? So if I write something like this, okay? If put a semicolon, uh, I mean, colon here, not semicolon, colon here. And if I say print, here I'll say displayed, okay? If this is displayed is in resulting true means this particular button is displayed on the page. Otherwise, else print not displayed. That means this particular button is not displayed on the page is displayed for hidden elements will return false. So it will go to the else block and it will print not displayed on the page and it will quit the browser. Let's run this code. There's another way of running the code guys. Okay. Apart from right clicking and run main here, you can also uh, run a command here. Go to the terminal here, go to the terminal. So, okay. So can I clear this out? Fine. Okay. For now, I'll run like this. Okay. Right click. Run main. Using terminal also, we can run guys. Okay. Just we have to type the command Python space, the name of the uh, file with extension. Okay. That's the only way. I'll show you when, when it is possible. If not in this session, I'll show you in the next session anyhow. Okay. So not displayed got printed in the output guys, because is displayed is returning false. Since it is returning false, the else block, it will go to the else block and not displayed is printed in the output console. Okay. So this is how we have to use is displayed command for checking the display status of the hidden buttons, which is uh, by default false anyhow. Okay. So it got clear. Let me run this code. If I have to run this Python file from this terminal, I have to type something like this guys. Okay. Type Python space, the name of the file that you want to run. That is name of the Python file that you want to run with extension that is py. And press enter. The code will run this. Okay. The way I have rightly can run here, the same thing will happen here. 
you see the script will run it will open the firefox browser maximize the browser window open the application url that is omai.blogspot.com and on the web page it will check whether the hidden button is displayed it will not be displayed so it will return false and else block not displayed will be printed in the output console this time i have run the from the command line from the terminal i have run this code okay the other way is also there guys the other way is also there uh first way is like run from here we can run the code from here not only selenium code guys uh, normal python code also you can do the same thing for running the python code you can write the command from the pycham id terminal you can say python main.py there's another way or you can go to the location where this main.py file is available. It's directly available under the project. So right click on this project guys and say open explorer. It will open the location in your machine where this particular particular project is available. Okay, where is this sample project available? Under this folder, open this folder. And here we have the main.py. Just type CMD here, open the command prompt from here. The command prompt got opened from here. What is the location where this command prompt is open? See users. Username folder, PyCharm projects, you see, PyCharm projects, sample project. So under this sample project, we have this main.py file, which I have to run. So instead of opening the command prompt from here and typing, you know, CD, 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 and all the stuff to go to this directory and all, rather you, you just select this path and type CMD and press enter, the command prompt will open directly at this path itself, where this particular Python file that you want to run is available here, okay? At that path, uh, this main.py file, Python file that you want to run the code is available. So here you have to type the command that is python space name of the file that is main extension of the file is py run this this also will run okay either from pycharm ids terminal or pycharm id right click options or by command prompt also you can run the scripts you see okay not displayed is coming it's working fine okay let me close all this stuff there are different ways to run guys okay the python code or selenium python code Okay, so that's all for this session. In this session, I have practically shown you how to use is displayed command to check the display status of the hidden but hidden elements or hidden buttons or whatever it is, which will generally result in false. Okay, is displayed command will return false for the hidden elements. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.